I get tons of requests and questions and emails every day for more information about the sponsorship proposal, sponsorship packages. So today's video is about the five components of a winning sponsorship proposal. Component one, keep the introduction short. How short? Three sentences short. Nobody reads your eight page introduction anyway. Your mission, vision, history, CEO biography, leave it out or summarize it in three sentences. Pick the three best sentences that summarize and describe who you are as an organization and move on. Move on to what? Component two, the 50% rule. This is a rule that I developed to force organizations to shift away from mission, vision, and the ask towards what sponsors really want, and that's audience data. No less than 50% of your sponsorship proposal should contain audience data. I like to aim for at least 25 data points or more. Middle class, baby boomers, families, not audiences. You have to get granular and know exactly who your audience is. It's as simple as this. No audience, no sponsorship. What does your audience value? What are they trying to achieve? What kind of purchases do they plan to make? You have to know who your audience is and why a sponsor should care about that audience. Component number three, understand your prospects motivation, otherwise known as your cause is irrelevant. I know what you're thinking. Nobody wants to hear this. Your cause is very important to you as an organization. If you work in the charitable or not-for-profit sector, but remember, companies are required to make a profit and they do that by selling products or services to their ideal customer. Now their ideal customer may care deeply about your cause, but to present your sponsor with a description of how you're going to change the world or express your mission is missing the point of sponsorship and it's missing your prospects motivation. You probably have a great cause, a great sports team, an award-winning building that you want to put a name or a logo on, but none of that matters if you don't attract your sponsor's audience. Sponsors want to connect with your audience in unique ways that give your audience more of what they want or help them overcome an obstacle or inconvenience. Without audience data, without being able to connect with your sponsor in a meaningful way based on their motivation, you're just guessing at what they want. Component number four, only include exactly what your sponsors want and nothing else. No grids, no guessing, definitely no gold, silver, and bronze. No little cutouts asking your sponsor to complete a form and send back payment. Only include exactly what your sponsors want and nothing else. I know what you're thinking. How do you know what to ask your sponsors for unless you talk to them? But isn't a sponsorship proposal meant to precede a meeting? Absolutely not. You must talk to your prospect before you send a proposal. Never send an unsolicited sponsorship package. In fact, don't send a sponsorship package at all until you have your prospect's explicit permission to do so. Number five, examples and case studies. This is what should replace the grid, the gold, silver, bronze, the, the list of things your sponsors can purchase. Share an example of how you help the sponsor sell more products, engage their employees, grow their database, or achieve some other measurable objective. Remember, no sponsors want a tweet or a logo or to give out a sample or stand at an exhibit booth all day. These are means to an end. Logo placement is means to an end. Sampling is a means to an end. And it's your job to prove to your sponsors that you can deliver. The absolute best case studies are those that connect your audience to your sponsor in a way that's meaningful to both of them. Don't have any case studies? Get them. The bonus tip, the one point, the one strategy that trumps all other strategies is to remember that the sponsorship proposal does not make the sale. You do. So talk to your prospects and leave the sponsorship package at home. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chris Bayless of the Sponsorship Collective.